In Sporty News today, Nene microchipped Morphe Sansonga have fun dancing, a sexy motorbike at the Dakar rally, Manny Pacquiao gets a promotion and Mario Balotelli gets busy in the kitchen. While footballers are used to bling bling and all sorts of gadgets, they're now going to have to get used to a new kind of toy. Adidas is now placing a new electronic chip on its players. While in their shoes, it will be able to locate players on the pitch and therefore establish detailed statistics about their actions on the field. A good idea supported by Nene. The Paris Saint-Germain winger is not worried about being closely monitored. It's a really interesting tool. It shows our qualities and our weaknesses. For example, how we do in endurance, sprint and all that. If we're fast as well. Well, you're in shape. Are you worried? Well, you never know. It's not because I'm in shape. I try to give it my best shot every day. We wonder whether some players will get punished for their laziness on the pitch. Uh, I don't think so. Even without it, we had to run to win, so I think it should help. It's a plus, it's not a problem. So when will this start? I think during the next match. They're going to give me the chip now, and I think I'll wear it at the next match. We may need a chip to keep track of them on the pitch, but it's a whole lot easier to spot them in the street, be it by the police or by fans. Joe Wilfred Sanga and Gael Monfils aren't just great tennis players. The two top French players played an exhibition match in Saint-Pierre on the island of Réunion. Before an audience of 9,000 people, they first drove the crowd wild with fiery exchanges before ending the match to the sound of music. Monsieur Tombola's Logo Bitombo dance was a real piece of cake for the pair. Apparently, Tsonga challenged Monfils to show off his dance floor skills, but it's better not to mess with Gael. Both Joe and I knew the song. We'd already done this dance. He wanted to let me make a fool of myself alone, but I dragged him in. Yeah, he can dance too. Who said that the Dakar rally wasn't sexy? Certainly not Hugo Payen. The French racer is for the second consecutive year going to be sponsored by Marc Dorcel, a producer of porn movies. In 2012, the Marc Dorcel group will cover 50% of Hugo Payen's budget, that is to say 20,000 euros. The Dakar rally will take place from January the 1st to 15th in South America. Hugo Payen is sure to stand out in the starting line with his pink and white motorcycle paying tribute to Anna Polina, a star of Marc Dorsal movies, thanks to stickers of the actress naked. Manny Pacquiao never stops. Now you'll have to get used to calling him Sergeant Major Pacquiao. Already a member of the Philippine House of Representatives, the Filipino boxer who's won the title of world champion in eight different categories has been promoted to the rank of Sergeant Major in the Reserve Division of the Philippine Army. His uniform and insignia were given to him during a ceremony in the capital city of Manila. According to General Emmanuel Batista, Manny Pacquiao can be considered a source of motivation for all the young people seeking to join the ranks of the Reserve Army. In any case, Manny Pacquiao is a model recruit, even though the hand-to-hand -hand combat specialist will most likely not be demonstrating his skills on the field. Manchester City players are actively preparing for Christmas. Among them, Mario Balotelli, Nigel de Jong and Kunagero took part in a Christmas cake decorating competition organized by the club. And apparently the crazy Italian isn't used to getting his hands dirty. Doing here, Mario? What? I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this man. Will you look at this? 
So either Mario Balotelli is really no good at decorating or he's trying to get attention. Push him down a bit. Not too hard, Mario. <laughs> like the saying goes, maybe he should stick to his day job. He delivers his presence on the field.